A couple years ago, I watched Lance McCullers do an interview with Rob Friedman, aka Pitching Ninja. In the video, he broke down his curveball grip and what he's trying to feel when he throws it. So the grip looks like this. He does a spike curve grip, so he is putting the spike, or his nail rather, into this seam right here. The middle finger then goes up against the seam like this. So he has a lot of pressure on that middle finger up against the seam, and he's pushing his nail into that seam here like this. And then the thumb is underneath on this seam here, and it's deep in his hand. So you can see here, like there's not a lot of space in my hand. I actually could probably get that a little bit deeper. So it's deep in the hand, thumb is on the seam, middle finger's up against the seam, index finger is going into the seam. So this is a really you know, deep grip. It's really connected to all these seams, so it allows him to get a lot of leverage to rip down and in front of this pitch. Anytime you are throwing a curveball, you want to think about that wrist staying stiff. So we're not getting super loose. We're not trying to manipulate it. We want to stay stiff with the wrist and think about that middle finger getting to the front of the baseball. Lance says when he's trying to throw this pitch harder or he's trying to make it sharper, he thinks about putting more pressure into that index finger, or into that nail, into the ball. And this just allows him to create a little bit better spin and allows him to be more aggressive when he is throwing this pitch. I really like this script for guys of various arm slots. You can throw from a lower slot like McCullers, or you can be over the top and still get really, really good shape. And what I think makes this grip so special is that spike. And I've said this often about sweepers or with curveballs, is the spike is almost like a little cheat code for guys to get that middle finger to the front of the ball, especially if you have more of a pronation bias to where you struggle to stay supinated and you get behind the ball or pronate through release a little too early. This allows you to stay supinated longer and get that middle finger to the front of the ball a little bit easier. So just a couple of reminders when you're throwing this pitch, making sure that you have seam contact with three fingers. So all three fingers that are you know on the ball, you want them attached to a seam. Middle finger up against this seam here, index finger going into the seam in between the seam right there with that nail, and then the thumb is on this seam as well. So one thing that you might notice when you start doing this grip as well is it might feel like this index finger has a hard time getting back that far and into the seam. So what that means is if you're doing that is this middle finger is probably sliding too far up because if it gets too far up like this, like it does feel a little unnatural for that nail to get into the seam. So make sure that you're far enough back on this seam to where it feels natural and comfortable to dig your nail straight into the seam like this. The last couple of reminders, throw this aggressive, get that middle finger to the front of the ball and making sure that it's deep in your hand.